Hi friends, myself Dr. Madhuran Shinvas, your dermatology educator. So, uh, just remember this small scene from the I am legend movie. So, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be alright at the end. Okay, so be cool, be positive and have a positive attitude towards whatever you are doing in your life right now. And this is a dermatology question in the NEET P2021. Hair perforation test is positive with. So, try to pause the video and uh, try to answer whatever you feel is the right option in the comment section. Is it microsporum ordinary, epidermophyton flaccosum, trichophyton mentographites or microsporum gypsum? And if in case you answered it as option C, then you have made a correct answer. So, uh, before that, uh, you know, looking at the uh, question and explanation, you should know that dermatophytes are three types, trichophyton, microsporum and epidermophyton and these dermatophytes are going to infect and involve either skin, hair or nails in different different combinations. So, that is what I am going to explain in this slide. So, trichophyton. So, the name itself is going to tell you that in trichophyton, three things are going to be infected. Skin, hair and nails. So, SHN stands for skin, hair and nails. And if you look at microsporum, it is going to start with the letter M. So, this M, because it is very, very close to N, so microsporum will not infect nails. So, there will be sparing of the nails by microsporum. That is, skin and hair can get infected. Skin and hair can get infected by microsporum. Whereas, if you look at epidermophyton, again, so, alphabetically, M was close to N. That is the reason why it, it was sparing nails. And likewise, E is close to H. That is the reason why epidermophyton is not going to involve hairs. So, that is, it is going to spare. Spares, it's epidermophyton spares nail, hairs. Sorry. And yes, it is going to infect and involve skin and nails okay so this is very very important first you must understand this so with this simple logic you can straight away uh, you know uh, eliminate one of the options so yes epidermophyton can be eliminated but uh, you know among the three you should know that trichophyton mentagraphite is going to show the hair perforation perforation test so what is this basically uh, in this the methodology is that we are going to take the test fungus uh, the dermat this should be a dermatophyte the type which we are unaware of and we should add along with this hair in the presence of the water then what will happen if you observe at monthly intervals we can uh, identify these localized areas of pitting and also marked erosion whereas those of the trichophyton rubrum are not going to produce these pits and you must remember that Yes, these pits and erosions in the hair shaft are produced by trichophyton mentagraphite. Okay. So, this is the hair. This is a hair shaft uh, with the test fungus which was not trichophyton mentagraphite. That is the reason why there are no pits or there are no erosions. Whereas, this on the right hand side you can see this is a hair shaft where you are able to see some uh, perforations or pits or erosions present in the hair shaft. This is a positive test and this is probably telling us that it is trichophyton mentagrophytes. I hope you have enjoyed uh, this kind of a short video. So, if you enjoyed these type of videos, please do scan this QR code with the mobile uh, you know scanner app where you will be taken to all the, all my uh, you know links of dermatology channels groups and also i will keep the same links in the description and also the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and also do share this among your friends and also do subscribe to my youtube channel the link for subscription will come over here and if you would like to watch these kind of similar videos i will place Two more videos here okay you can check them out and thank you so much for all your patient listening sarvejana sukhino bhavantu thank you so much